What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Kiamani, and I'm back at it again with another video, and I'm going to show you how to make this very cute fur bikini. Now, let's get right into it. Would like to see how I made my moon boots from scratch. Um, That tutorial is going to be on my sewing OnlyFans. It is only $6.99 a month, and there are a lot more other um, sewing tutorials on there that aren't on YouTube. So if you did want to check that out, everything on that is going to be in the description box down below. This tutorial will be live on my OnlyFans tomorrow. I'll see you there. Now let's get right into it. To begin, I'm going to take these brand new underwear, so don't try me, <laughs> and I'm going to lay it flat on a piece of paper, just a regular notebook sheet of paper, and I'm going to trace this outline because it's going to be the outline that I use to make the bottom of our fur bikini. Um, I did get the fur fabric from um, Joann's, and I did only get one yard. I'm only planning to make the fur bikini. You don't even need that much. You can probably do like a quarter of a yard. Um, so you want to cut that shape out. I am going to be having, um, I'm making a thong bottom. Um, so that's why the front of it looks like that. If you did want, um, boy shorts or you wanted something with a little bit more coverage, I would recommend using a different pair of underwear. Next for the top, you want to take a bra and you want to measure one of your bra cups and you're just going to need length and height of each cup just to know how wide you want to make your tri triangle cut out. So you're gonna need two different fabrics for this process. You are going to want the fur fabric, which again is from Joann's, and then any fabric that you would like to line um, your bikini. So um, I feel like it's not practical for swimming. So, I mean, I personally wouldn't recommend using an absorbent fabric unless you plan on swimming with it, but I just feel like that's unnecessary. Anywho, <laughs> um, I say that to say I'm using a bandana as my lining material. And um, this was really because this was the only fabric that I could use that was at my office at the moment, but it really doesn't matter. So you want to cut out um, two triangles in the bottom portion um, of your lining fabric. And you also want to d cut these same pieces out um, in your fur fabric.
you want to take your fabric and you want to lay it with the fur facing up and you want to lay the bandana over um, or your lining fabric over the fur and you want to sew up the edges of each but you're going to leave the bottom the very bottom portion of the bikini open So would like to add although i do highly recommend you using a serger for this project just because it gives you a lot um cleaner look with this fur is not uh mandatory that you have a serger you could do the same exact project with a sewing machine now remember i told you to leave the bottom portion of your bikini open here's the bottom and this is why you're just going to flip it on the right side out so that your seams are going to be on the very inside just to give it a super clean and professional look and feel. So here's how it looks when it's flipped on the right side. And now we're going to work on our top. So you want to do the same exact thing. You want to um, have the fur facing up on both triangle pieces and you want to lay the lining on top of that. But before you sew, you want to add um, a string to one of the ends of your triangle. And this is going to be so you can tie, you know, just have straps on it. But this is how you do it. Sew it up, but leave a little opening just so you can flip it inside out just like we did for the bottoms. So I would like to mention I am so sorry I'm behind on the 25 days of sewing but I promise I'll make it up to you it's just there's a lot <laughs> there's a lot going on but thanks for still rocking with me Once it's flipped on the right side, you just want to close up the little opening that we left um, open. And I'm going to use my sewing machine for this portion. Um, and after I did that, I'm just going to do the same exact thing to the other triangle. After you've completed the other side, um, I did make two little slits in the bottom of this triangle. Um, and then I'm just going to feed a string through the bottom edge of this. And this is just going to be, you know, a strap for it to go um, tie around my back. And then the two straps at the top that we did sew already in here, that's going to go around my neck. So now that you got that done, your top is done. Make sure you add your little knots to your string so that it doesn't fly away. You need to do is add your string to the bottom um, and this is if you're making of course a thong bottom but if you're making boy shorts it'll be different but I'm just gonna cut I cut two smaller strings um, which you you can either cut two smaller ones or one long one and you want to thread that through the top of that triangle like you did to the bottom of your top and then you want to take the two edges 
um, of the to the two ends of the string and you want to feed that through the bottom opening um, the part that we did leave open fit those two in that opening and just sew that down After that, we are done with this tutorial. If you did want to check out and see how I made the moon boots, um, that tutorial is going to be on my OnlyFans, my sewing OnlyFans. Um, it is only $6.99, and I got a lot more other sewing tutorials that's on there that's not on YouTube. So if you want to check that out, everything on that is going to be in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.